Okay, so my pet peeve for today is the inaccurate articulation of a semiquaver upbeat in Scarlatti's Sonata in F minor, which is list in list A of the Amy B piano syllabus grade seven. Um, and my pet peeve is not just that students don't articulate this correctly, but that they, they don't listen and they don't understand how incredibly wrong it is to play this note, first of all, out of time or even as a quaver, uh, especially when this has been explained to them ad infinitum. So here we have it again so that my students have it at home and that if it comes back in their lessons incorrectly for the umpteenth time in a row, then I simply won't teach. Okay, so here's how it should be played and in the second line I will show you how I subdivide and that's that, that's the way you do it. Okay, here we go. Repeat it. Two, three. One e and a two e and a three e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a one e. So the semiquaver division is absolutely vital for the rhythm to be tight and visceral and exactly as Scarlatti wrote it. Anything less is an absolute cop-out. You simply cannot try to do this by feel and you simply cannot not play this in time. This passage and the springing into the F with this short semiquaver gives emphasis to the second note when the first note is a semiquaver, ta ta. If you play it as a quaver, ta tim, it weakens the emphasis of on the first note. So make sure these rhythms are really crisply and neatly articulated, so that no one on your exam writes the rhythms were inaccurate. Okay, there's no room for messy, sloppy playing in this kind of music.